my name is Lauren Grush and I am a graduate of the class of 2010. I graduated with a broadcast journalism and government degree and during my time at college I pretty much volunteered at TSTV from freshman to senior year. I was a producer for Sneak Peek, I volunteered on Video Game Hour Live and I also helped to create and star in the Night Night Show. Whenever I talk about college, I can't not talk about my time at TSTV. I mean, it really shaped kind of my entire college experience. I mean, I worked there all the time. I made all of my friends there. I mean, I put my blood, sweat, and tears into the shows that I worked on there. I mean, it really was what defined my college experience. TCB opened a lot of opportunities for me in terms of my classes and just kind of life experiences in general. I mean, um, the reason that I got into my upper division broadcast journalism classes was solely because of TSTV. I put, I wrote all about my experience producing Sneak Peek, and because of that, they thought that I was capable of handling the broadcast journalism sequence. So I definitely recommend anyone who wants to be in broadcast journalism to definitely volunteer at KVR or at Sneak Peek or just at the station in general. And then, in terms of just life experiences, I mean, I was on the red carpet for the Grindhouse premiere when it came to Austin, Texas. So I got to interview people like Kurt Russell, um, Rose McGowan, uh, Quentin Tarantino was there, Robert Rodriguez. I mean, that's just something I would never have gotten anywhere else. And I, I have a list of celebrities I've met and pretty much all of them, well most of them are because of my time and my tenure at Sneak Peek. They had sent out an email asking for people um, who are available to go to this Grindhouse premiere. And I, if I hadn't been next to my cube computer, I literally replied like two seconds after they sent out that email. And I said, pick me, pick me. And what was so great was they did. And they didn't, they didn't, I don't even think these producers really knew who I was. But they asked, they said I could come along and they loved what I did. And because of that, they kept putting me more and more uh, different roles, but it was so great. I mean, I was so I was I was starstruck, but it was so cool because I I got you know I got right up there. I think the first actor that I interviewed, his name was Danny Trejo, and he was um, Machete in the recent movie that came out, and he was so nice to me, and I remember he said that um, I should be on the red carpet, and that was, I just remember that was one of the coolest things ever. I, I At that moment, I was like, wow, I'm actually here being a reporter, getting to talk to these people that I've seen on TV, and um, you know, it was just, or TV and in movies, and it was just a really cool experience. The main thing that, I know a lot of people will say this, but the main thing that I got out of TSV was just no one limited me with anything that I wanted to do. If I wanted to make an idea into a reality, I could do it. People said, go take the camera, go do what you want. You, you know, if I had a segmented idea, or if I had, you know, a package that I wanted to contribute, you know, people were very receptive to that, and then I had complete control over you know that segment or that package you know I got to go out and film and shoot it I got to go learn what worked and what didn't work and then I got to come back dump my footage and edit it myself and then I got the pleasure of usually seeing it on screen you know the day once it was you know once I had turned it in so that doesn't ever happen anywhere else you know nobody's gonna say sure go do whatever, whatever you want in the real world so it was really great to be able to come to college and have that experience of, you know, being able to do whatever I wanted to do. I learned pretty much all of the skills that I'm using now and in my journalism classes, I learned at my classes that I took at TSTV as well as just kind of experimenting and, you know, crafting the shows myself. I mean, uh, I was working in Final Cut you know, two years before I started using it for my journalism classes. So I was much more advanced when I got to the journalism program than I would have been if I hadn't volunteered at TSTV. I mean, there was, there was even one class where my professor actually asked me to teach a certain type of editing technique to use for our, our um, packages. So I even taught classes because I was so advanced from you know, 
uh, exper experimenting on the shows as well as just taking the classes at TCB that I knew so much more in Final Cut than I did. And also, I learned how to use a camera, you know? I was, I was kind of given the camera and was able to make mistakes and to just kind of mess around with it and learn how to use do the different functions, you know, how to set up a good shot, the rule of thirds. I learned that at TSTB, you know, how to change your shutter speed, how to change, how to white balance a camera, you know, that all of that came from my experience at TSTB, and I would have been much, much worse without it in in my classes and in my job. TSTV also pretty much provided me with my entire friend group when I was in college. I mean, the people that I worked with, I worked with them 24-7, and then I went home and we hung out and we partied together and we, you know, got lunch together. We were spending so much time together. Literally, I felt like they were my family. It was my home away from home. I mean, in fact, the people that I met, I still keep in contact with on a daily basis. There's, there are people up here in New York with me that I met at TSTV and they're my closest and dearest friends. So it, it's, it was much more than a working experience as much as it was a social and, and valuable experience in my life. My favorite episode that I was involved in in uh, TSTV was definitely the one hour live finale of Sneak Peek when I produced it my sophomore year. And I think the reason that I loved it so much is because throughout that entire year, Sneak Peek had started off very sparse. How, how about that? We didn't have a lot of volunteers at first. We had a terrible set. I think it was bright blue. There was nothing on it. And from the beginning of the year to the end of the year, Sneak Peek went through this massive transformation. My co-producer and I worked really hard to take almost nothing. We'd been given the show and there was pretty much nothing to it and at the end of the year we had a loyal group of volunteers who were there week after week. We had a beautiful new set. We had packages in each show. So here we are at the finale, right? And we decided to do an hour long show of normally a 30 minute show. And it was so chaotic and hectic but I loved every minute of it. We had so many people there that day. The energy was just flowing. There were mistakes coming left and right, but we, you know, we met every single one of them head on. And I just remember at the very end, we had every single volunteer come out on set for the, the last shot. And we all in unison said, sneak peek, entertainment the way you want it. And we had, you know, music playing at the end, and I just remember I started crying because I was so proud and so sad to leave for that summer because I, the show had become, you know, almost my child, you know, and it was sad for me to move on from it, but I was so happy and so proud of everyone involved, and I just remember every, all of, everybody hugging at the end and, and how special that moment was for me. I'll never forget that. Currently, I am an editorial assistant and science and technology contributor for Fox News and FoxNews.com. It definitely requires a lot of prioritizing and organization, and I definitely learned that at TSTV. Prioritization is like kind of kind of what makes my job, like what runs my job, and I definitely learned that producing Sneak Peek and you know, and being entertainment director, you know, figuring out you know what comes first who, you know, what meetings you have to get to, you know, what deadlines need to be met, and that all came from my experience at TSV. And then also, something really unique, um, I, I, as a science and technology contributor for .com, I sometimes get to appear on their online show, and just recently, this past week, I got to attend the opening night gala of the World Science Festival, and, um, for the festival, I got to be on the red carpet and interview the celebrities that were there, including Alan Alda, Maggie Gyllenhaal, Liev Schreiber was there, um, David Morse, uh, and it was, I remember my editor asking me before I went, he asked, 
uh, do you feel comfortable interviewing these celebrities? And I think I got like this really smug look on my face like, oh yeah, I totally got this. Because <laughs> I had done it so much it's you know, at Sneak Peek that I was completely comfortable when I was talking to these celebrities and filming in front of the camera. You know, it was it was almost like somebody had taken sneak peek and just put it at Fox and there I was doing you know what I had done so many years ago. The most recent thing that I'm proud of that I've done was I got an exclusive on the website about a new uh, lander that NASA is creating to hopefully land on the moon someday and I came on our dot com show foxnews.com live and I got to talk about it and I, I was given 10 whole minutes to talk about this really cool piece of technology that NASA was creating and I definitely used my sneak peek and just my on-air experience from the TSTV in general to kind of feel at ease you know answering these questions also the uh, video that I did of the opening night gala I was very proud of. I think it came out really well and it was really exciting. I got to you know, get dressed up and get all my hair done and go to a show at Lincoln Center and, and talk to celebrities about science, which I think is just really cool. It was such a perfect you know, cross-section of what I love, entertainment and technology and science. Then those things never really mesh that often, so that was a pretty cool experience for me. Do it! <laughs> no, but really. <laughs> I mean, it's... Uh, I can't... You can hear me talk all day about how awesome it is, but until you go there and meet the people, see the equipment, see what we do there, you can't, there's no words to describe it. It's just an experience that you will never forget and will always talk and brag about with everyone that you ever meet. Everyone has their niche in college and this was mine and I think everyone who goes to TSTV feels the same. I mean, you, you never forget that one club or that one, you know, thing that you did in college that made it all worthwhile and TSTV definitely was that one thing for me and I'll never forget it and I I hope to never you know take it for granted <laughs>